What's up, YouTube? Axel here, back again with another video. Um, today, we're doing a vlog-ish kind of video, like back in the days. It's a little bit sunny. It was like a fucking snowstorm 30 minutes ago. It's the most bipolar weather in the world, but that does not matter. What matters is that I am super, super, super bored today. I'm extremely bored, and you know what happens when I'm bored? I spend money. So we're going to go maybe do a little bit of shopping. I'll take you guys with me. Um, and then afterwards, I'm also excited for market open. But one hour before market open, by the way, today is Sunday. I have a live stream with our members from my EA community and whatnot. So we do like Q&A uh, live stream where they get to ask all the questions and they get help from me directly through these live streams. So I'll show you behind the scenes of all of that. So you guys get to see what it is um, pretty much. A little Sunday in my life so yeah today's drip we got some light we got like a little our money t-shirt nothing crazy we got the the hue blow you know that's the my like daily kind of wash got the little Louis Vuitton shoes with some Zara bands which look pretty cool and yeah ready to go out now of course we live in a very very cold place so we need to put our winter jacket and let's set the elevators. All right, so we're gonna go down to the garage, get my car and whatnot, and then hmm, either I'm gonna get a car wash or we're gonna go to Louis Vuitton. I don't know which one's gonna go first, but it's either one of those two things on our agenda. <sighs> yeah, I'm really bored, god damn. Don't get me bored. I spend racks when I'm bored. All right, so I'm downstairs right now, about to get in the whip. Whew, let's see, does it need a wash? By the way, boom, got the SVR Range Rover, fucking monster. Yeah, this shit definitely needs a wash. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. We gonna need to wash you. You need a little shower, my baby, you looking dirty. You're looking dirty, dirty. All right, let's get in the little white interior. But the best part about this car is the sound. Listen to this. That's long. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Woo! Jesus! Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. Here we are. Yeah, so I'm going to wait for it to warm up a little bit. And then hit the road. Shit. I also need to fucking fill up my gas. Seems like I don't have that much. Ah, money hungry. Money hungry car. But I love it. Cannot complain. I cannot complain. All right. So what I decided to do is actually let's go hit the car wash first. Let's give my little baby a shower and then afterwards put some some gas in it, you know, some fuel, keep it alive. And then we'll hit the Louis store. Now there's one specific item that I want from there. I'll probably end up copping and that's a pair of sunglasses. Now, you might be asking yourself, why the hell do you need a pair of sunglasses when you live in Toronto and it's always gloomy? And the real reason is because I don't give a fuck. That's basically it. I don't care. I like them. I was gonna buy them either way when summer hits. So might as well have them a couple of months earlier, right? There's no point in me waiting. I can also make a few couple videos with them and maybe look kind of cool or not. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about last week. Last week was actually amazing. We had a lot, a lot, a lot of good results. We passed so many challenges for our clients. Um, even though with all the Ukraine and Russia stuff, we were still able to capitalize off of that and hit up some big moves, which got us a lot of profit. Um, it was with gold and also with AUD and ZD. We were able to capitalize on those two pairs. Gold was a bit trickier because it was crazy fucking uh, pumping out of nowhere after the Russian news, right? Which is expected. People um, tend to go towards gold towards gold in times of uncertainty in times of war in times where 
currencies are not to be trusted and whatnot. So we were, but even with all that, we were still able to find pockets of cons consolidation within those times and capitalize off of that. Definitely the main pair that we were trading was uh, AUD and ZD, which is not a popular pair, but for us, because our EA really works extremely, extremely well off of cons consolidation, sorry. Um, it works for us. So we're starting to find more pairs like that, that we're exploring and that we're testing out. And of course, we're gonna release those set files for all of our existing clients. Um, as for automation, we had the record week where we passed the most accounts in automation ever so far. So that's good news, which means a lot of our clients were extremely happy. And that of course always makes us happy to fund people, to pass their, uh, to pass their phase one and phase two and some of them moved on to live accounts. Some of them now have moved on to phase two. So all of that is is amazing. I'm really happy to be doing what I do. I love what I do. And yeah, let's keep going. All right, so we're not on our way to the car wash. Let's push this bitch. Yeah. God damn. That's why I love this car. All right. So we we're about to enter the car wash soon, right now. Now, something you have to know is whenever my car goes to the car wash, it goes through a PTSD episode. Now, you'll understand what I mean in a second. All right, got him. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh shit, the car's having a seizure. Call the ICU. It's okay, baby, we're just getting you washed. It's acting like a dog when it doesn't want to get washed. So we're out here filling up the Range Rover, you know. Look at the gas prices going crazy. Inflation. Inflation hitting at an all time high. We gotta pay the price for that. Still looks good though. All right, so we just finished up fueling the car and washing it as well. So right now my baby's looking real clean and feeling good. We're about to hit the Louis store. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm originally looking for the sunglasses, but if they have some other items that are better, I'll just go for that. If not, I, I honestly, I even forgot how those sunglasses look on me. So I might have to go there and try them again and see if that's actually what I want or not. Um, but yeah, this is what happens when you're bored. You know, this is what happens when you're bored. I'm one of those people that actually Believe it or not, I really don't like weekends that much, man. I really, really, really prefer weekdays. There's a lot of trading going on during weekdays. There's a lot more action going on within my business during weekdays. Um, have a sales team to manage, uh, the automation team as well. All of that excites me. When it's the weekends and it's slow and everybody's like fucking chilling, I personally do not like it. Like, comment down below if you think that's weird. Like, are you like that too or do you love your weekends? Because I personally do not like weekends. I like weekdays, work days, uh, get shit done days. That's what I personally like. All right, so we got the Louis store right there. But of course, one of the worst parts of living in a big city is having to find parking. So right now, our main goal is to find where to park this big ass vehicle all right so i did end up finding some parking um it's a paid parking but whatever look at that she beautiful isn't she yes lord got that nice electric blue yes sir let's go pay for the goddamn parking i don't even know how this fucking machine works but we'll figure it out so yeah this is yorkville this is where we got all the nice brands and stuff. We got the Dior there. We got Hermes behind me. 
What else we got? We got Dolce. I might actually go and visit Dolce. I've never been, so maybe some good shit there. Oh shit, my finger was in the way. My bad. And yeah, we're on our way to Louis. I'll see you when I get there. Sure, I'm like 50-50 on them. Hmm. You guys tell me. Alright, so he's fixing on my sunglasses in the back, but let's look at some more stuff. Ah, that's pretty dope. This one break is really dope. Hmm. What are those? Garbage. Hmm, interesting. I would not buy that. Hey, what's good? There's also these ones. Let me try them out. I'm gonna take the potion, man. Huh? Well, hell no, I look like a nerd. Fuck no. I'll, I'll stick to the black ones. Interesting. Don't have a clue what that is. Oh, I'm gonna have one of these for the Richards soon. All right, so we just left the store. We got the Louis bag. Let's go to Dolce next. Where was that at? Oh, we got to cross the street for Dolce. Hold on. How the fuck I'm going to cross the street with all this goddamn snow? Fuck up my shoes and shit. God damn it. Fucking snowy ass bullshit. Ah, fuck it. Jaywalk on them bitches. Sue me. We got a little Dior store. Dior, Dior. There's nothing there I really want. Okay, let's check out Dolce. Yes, Lord. Let's see what they got. Well, epic fail. They're fucking closed. Fucking bullshit. No problem. Um, oh, we got the Rolly store. Top the Rolex like a month ago, I think. I'm looking for another one. I'm looking for a gold one. I need a gold watch. I'm tired of the. Oh wait a minute, they got a Hublot store in there too. I like your watch. I have the the rose gold one with the black. Face like black bezel. Um, is that a, a classic fusion? Yeah. No. I don't have a. I don't have a. Let me see. So for the rose gold, I only have these few uh, pieces available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the big bangs? Yeah, those ones. Yep, yeah, so for the Rose Gold, I have the Big Bang Original. Mm -hmm. Can I try that one there? Of course, yeah. Okay, this is 45 million. Um, I, I think it's 44, 45, and the project is 40. What do you guys think? Very nice. How much does this one go for? Let me check. That's the price we're looking for. Yeah. This is uh, 
So I was checking Rolex too. They had just one, one watch for men, one. It was a two-tone Yacht Master, but it was not the, the one with the gold. It was actually with rose gold. It looks really nice, it's really pretty. I am kind of looking for a watch, and that one is going right now for retail, which is almost impossible to find these days. Uh, trying to fucking cross. So, should I do it? Maybe I'll put a picture of how it looks like somewhere here. It's a very pretty watch. I don't know if it's the one I want, but I'll think about it. All right, so I did end up buying the glasses. This is how they look. What do you guys think? They look good or what? Do I look like money or what? I don't know. You guys tell me. If you think they're good, I'm going to keep them. If you all think I look like a goof, I got to return them, unfortunately. But I think they're good. Looks like a keep. So, yeah. Right now, I'm going to get a couple of burgers for me and Tony. If you don't know Tony, if you're one of my clients, you probably talked to him before. He's right now working at the office. And yeah, let's bless him with some burgers, you know? Go into my favorite burger spot. Get me one. Get him one. You know how it is. We're sitting here waiting for burgers. Waiting for the burgers. About to get down. Go check on Tony. Yeah. All right, so we just got the burgers right here for myself and for Tony, who's our sales guy. Um, yeah, let's go and check up on him. Yes, sir. Let's put our seatbelt on for sure. Man, I'm still thinking about that Rolex. I was there at the burger store and I'm thinking, for retail, I should fucking get it. Ah, but today is a Sunday anyway, so I can't really go to my bank and pay for it or whatever. So I'll sleep on it. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it progresses. If I do end up buying it, I'll make a vlog on that as well. Keep you guys in the loop. If not, then I guess I won't. By the way, if you see my lip, it's a little busted there. So I was getting my teeth done, getting my veneers, and then the fucking dentist fucked up my shit. Now I'm bruised up for a couple of days, so if for the next videos you see me bruised up, you know how you know what happened. DocuSign, if not, I'm gonna send you an app right now that you can actually use, and then that way you can uh, get that done. Sounds good, brother? Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome. Found that. Perfect. Talk to you soon. All right. We got the boy Tony out here closing. Yes, sir. Working. I got you a little burger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you go. think, man? What do you think about the, the glasses? They too big? That's good. Hold on. Show me the yeah. side. Hey, boy. Smelling like money. Hey. Uh -huh. Gotta put the black on black with the gold on gold, you know? Like that. With the LVs, with the LVs on. I'm like, I'm not sure if I should like keep them or not. What do you think? They are. Yeah? Yeah, they are. Stay kind of big, though. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but they're big on me. Those are definitely big on me. This is what the burger looks like. We got, oh, oh man. Fucked up part is I have live stream in 30 minutes and I gotta eat this. I'm gonna be one sleepy ass head on that goddamn live. Jeez, beautiful. All right, YouTube, how you guys doing? So, like I said, I was filming a vlog, and now you, all of you guys are part of the vlog. We got like 100-something people on the private live stream right now. Um, yeah, say hi. So yeah, this is pretty much the live streaming setup. I'm showing you the, I'm showing you 
the ba the back end stuff and whatnot. So yeah, I'm doing the live stream with my members where they ask me questions and we tackle a lot of subjects and whatnot. So yeah, let's get through this. All right, guys. So we just hit one hour within our live. We answered a bunch of people's questions. We are still live right now, by the way. You can see a lot of people were asking me questions and whatnot. Um, let's answer this last question before I leave. Any educational resources you recommend for a new trader to deepen their knowledge on FX, especially given EA? A lot of info I find irrelevant to learn due to the EA. Um, that's a good question. As far as information when it comes to Forex in general, you don't want to actually invest in yourself and invest in people's courses. Um, I'll plug somebody in, which I don't normally plug anybody, but uh, if you guys are familiar with Lambo Raul, he has a very, very good course with Day Trading Academy. I did go through it like a couple years ago. Um, like I, I went through the first version of it and it did really help me out. Um, that was a while ago. I think now he has an updated one or some shit. I, I, I'm not a member with them anymore or whatnot. But yeah, the original one was really good and it did help me out a lot. Um, when it comes, wait a minute, look at this motherfucker. This guy said, you didn't answer my question, you tally, man. Oh my fucking God. Oh. Look at this fucking racist motherfucker. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God. He doesn't even ask a question. Man, I was spitting some facts. Anyway. Um, as far as EA knowledge, I will be releasing more videos within the community and whatnot, letting you know more about when to use the, the EA and whatnot. All right, so we just got done the live stream. Right now, the markets are open. It's, uh, what time is it right now? It's like 5.30 p.m. The markets are open. A lot of the pairs are starting to get traded. Um, so it's time for us to get back to work. Uh, during the live stream, I just uh, pretty much answered a lot of my clients' questions. Uh, we we kind of have these uh, live stream sessions once a week, every Sunday, before market opens for like an hour, where all of my clients get to ask me uh, questions about the EA, questions about our services like automation, where they come and they actually share results with us. Like we had a person there, YB, who actually uh, got their challenge passed with automation like a couple of days ago. And, yeah, so all of that good stuff. I was also showing them a couple of things on the charts, like how we actually, even through, even with all this Russia, uh, Ukraine war, we were able to take advantage of a couple of pockets within gold to, to, to make some profits with the EA and actually pass a bunch of challenges with these. I can probably show you here. So we did use some of these pockets of consolidation. This is after the war was announced. Uh, probably the whole war was announced somewhere here. There was a bit of consolidation before it shot up and then it shot down crazy. But during each of those pockets, there were um, little times where it consolidated and we did take advantage of those to make sure that we maximize our profits. And yeah, we were also training a lot of AUD and ZD, which looks, uh, got them. Let me zoom out. Yeah, a lot of AUD and ZD we took advantage of those consolidation periods of what as well and yeah we pretty much showed them uh, a bunch of stuff like that in our live stream pretty much so yeah i think that's it for this vlog it's time to get back to work time to get back to the charts time to get back to my team and whatnot and yeah i'll make i'll make sure to make another vlog during the week while everything is being traded or whatnot when it's more high tempo shit a lot of shit happening at the same time so yeah, next vlog, it will be during the week. Oh, actually, actually I have an event I'm going to. Stay tuned, stay tuned for the event I'm going to. I'll make sure to vlog it. And yeah, see you in the next video.